Hey YouTube, welcome back. We're here with another episode of Thrill of the Haunt, and today I wanted to go ahead and play a newer game that had just recently come out uh, called Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. And I have heard pretty good things about it. I heard that it kind of leans more on the realism aspect of ghost hunting. Uh, you know, the, the type of things that actual paranormal investigators go through. And uh, I have also heard that it's a little bit more story driven, although that's not really the focus. It's It seems to be that each location in the ghost has a story behind it and is unique in that way. Instead of something like Phasmophobia, where everything is kind of procedurally generated, the ghost model doesn't mean anything as in terms of what type of ghost it is. So yeah, I thought it'd be interesting to go ahead and try this out. So, uh, you know, if you're if you're not yet subscribed, please do so. And uh, let's go ahead and jump on in the game. Never thought I'd have my own office as a paranormal investigator. For years, I just did this for fun and rarely made any money doing it. I finally earned enough business to justify renting this place, and after several months, I think I got it looking somewhat professional. I also had my first customer visit in here the other day. I should look at the map in the back to get an idea of where I'm going to be investigating. Okay, so we can we can move. It's the interact button. Push the interact button to read the pamphlet. Oh wow. So it gives you a lot of information here. Alright, let's just take a look at this real quick. Uh at CSPPI, we have a history of success and professionalism that is unparalleled within the field. After years of watching ghost hunting shows on various networks and participating in numerous amateur ghost hunts, we have developed an incredibly efficient process to ensure that our clients' needs are met. In order for paranormal investigators to determine if a location is legitimately haunted, they will often spend a significant amount of time in the, on the case. It usually starts with hours of historical research prior to any on-site visit. Learning what might have happened is key to making collaborations or corroborations on any potential evidence found. Additionally, most investigators feel several overnight visits are required to get a grasp uh, to to grasp a comprehensive understanding if paranormal activity is present. Establishing multiple data points over numerous nights will find many logical and rational explanations for the perceived haunt. This is also referred to as debunking by investigators. Hours of post-investigation work is required for every hour spent on location. In order for investigators to expose paranormal evidence, they will review every second of data. Hmm. Usually in the form of audio and visual media, as it turns out, an overwhelming percentage of the time, there are rational explanations. Most investigators believe the copious amount of work they have invested was absolutely worth it if the paranormal activity was found. Generally, investigators are fueled by curiosity and intrigued from an unexplained experience of their past, not necessarily results. Okay. Their process is they arrive on site, they use passive tools to gain an understanding. After gaining the understanding, they move to their active tools, which will be used to collect indisputable evidence, although the active tools may be needed at any moment because the ghosts are unpredictable. Investigation will conclude after obtaining suitable evidence. Okay, then they'll provide the clients with the report. Great. So the passive tools we have available is going to be a flashlight, a temp sensor, and an EMF meter. So it seems like the flashlight is set to one. Uh, one is equip and unequip. Temp sensor five. And then to change the units, and then to activate it is the space bar. And then the EMF meter is just passively on, it looks like, with the four. Oh, there's a backside. Okay. <laughs> All right, the active tools. They have an audio recorder, so you hit three for audio recorder, E for EVP session, and just space to record. Okay, so we also have a camera. Two is equip. Uh, X is night vision, space is take photo. Okay, got it. Cool. This doesn't look bad at all. It's pretty good. Can I turn this on? Okay.
Ah, there we go. There's the flashlight. That's what it's going to look like. All right, look and hide the HUD, since we did take a look at all of that. Actually, hold on a sec. St oh, so you can scroll through your equipment, which is probably better. And then you can actually use the third mouse button to use the camera. Tab is your notes. Okay. Nice. There we go. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and do Celsius because I'm weird like that, and I think that it is better that uh, absolute zero is, in fact, absolute zero, or at zero is zero on the uh, the Celsius meter. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, see what this is all about. Do all this separately. So it said we needed to take a look at the map in the back, but let's explore the office a little bit. Let's read this book. Press the interact button to close it. Residual, intelligent, poltergeist, or demonic? Oh wow, there's a lot here. Okay. Photo of an apparent residual ghost was taken in 19 or 1896. This is credited as one of the first verifiable ghost photos taken. All right, residual ghosts are spirits who act out of a moment of their previous life. Uh, unaware of their surroundings, replaying events over and over. It is believed that these entities, being oblivious to their surrounds, do not intelligently interact with their environment. This is why unexplainable sounds are usually heard and EVPs are never obtained. Somehow, memories of their previous life, for whatever reason, have been imprinted on the world. Paranormal investigators are under the impression that these spirits were significant events. Oh, sorry. Under the impression that these were significant events or memories of the spirit's previous life. It is a very perplexing phenomenon because these memories play at unpredictable moments with no correlation to the original events. Most haunted locations seem to be inhabited by a residual ghost. Old spots have been noted frequently while investigating these types of ghosts. Changes in electromagnetic fields are assumed to change moments prior to manifestations. In the earlier years of ghost hunting, residual ghosts were plentiful, but they determined the credibility of the field due to... Oh, they diminished the credibility of the field due to being poor quality fakes. More recently, due to the improvements of ghost hunting technology, there have been fewer residual ghosts that have skeptics struggling to debunk. Okay. All right, uh, yeah, we can, I guess we can, oh man, each of these is pretty long. Homeowner, homeowner captured this shadow person peeking around their house in 1959. Intelligence ghosts are named so because they have the capacity to communicate and interact with the living. They are usually categorized in two ways. The first is of people who have passed away and are now spirits who mysteriously linger in our world. Most often, after a bit of research, it is determined that the former person had a strong connection to the location and now haunt it. It is generally found that the individual lived uh, in the home most of their life or passed away suddenly within it. Investigators have witnessed irregularities with both the EMF meter and temperature sensor. EVPs are often obtained after asking the spirit questions as well as recording random disembodied voices. This type of intelligent ghost can be very elusive for photographers. A second category is a group often referred to as shadow people. Most paranormal investigators under the impression that these entities left their lives unfulfilled. In a rare number of cases, resolution for the spirit has been identified and it disappeared. Uh, okay, so like putting the old shoes back in the wall where they found uh, were found remodeling. They seem to interact with the EMF meter temperature sensor in almost a playful manner. Disembodied voices are often recorded, but never has an EVP been captured. Shadow people seem to be the most photogenic type of ghost. Investigators usually have at least one solid photo within their portfolio. Okay. Poltergeist. Children's toys are seen floating in the air allegedly by a poltergeist. This photograph was taken midsummer of 1982. 
The word poltergeist comes from the German language and means noisy spirit. Most research has found that the activity started subtly and gradually increased over time, becoming intolerable by the homeowner. Sometimes these noises have no apparent source, and other times household items have been mysteriously destroyed. Some individuals who have experienced a poltergeist have claimed to be physically harmed by it. Um, let's see. Although evidence points to injuries being caused as a result of being startled and not directly by the ghost. Paranormal experts are torn between two thoughts about the nature of poltergeists. The first being that these ghosts are unknown life forms and not spirits of the deceased. This is substantiated because there is often, quite often, no correlation to any former person the ghost could be, and the entity's displays intelligence. Additionally, EVP evidence is absolutely obscure. The second thought is that these ghosts were former people who are unhappy with the current residents. The supporting argument for this theory pertains to the nature of disruptions, which are very human in nature. Both sides have supporting data, and only through detailed investigations can the facts be determined. Investigators have been able to obtain strange audio from these ghostly antics over the years. Generally, a temperature drop will occur prior to any activity and an EMF spike after. Okay. And demonic. Last but not least, this photograph was taken in December of 1973. Priests perform an exorcism on a young girl supposedly possessed. Demons are evil ghosts. Ah, the typos there. Demons are evil ghosts who are capable of terrible things. In general, these beings who were never human and have been around for eons migrate from location to location, preying on who they view as vulnerable. Research indicates the demon feeds on the fear and pain of others. With these types of haunts, homeowners can undergo physiological or psychological changes for the worst. It is, it is as though the demon has inhabited the house as well as the resident within the home. Usually the distressed owner has observes has observed negative changes from a member within their household. After an investigation has occurred, it is often concluded that these individuals are possessed. A demonic entity has been determined to haunt a location. Spiritual leaders of the homeowner's choice will get involved in an effort to cleanse, 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 cleanse the home and expunge the demon. Demons are rare, but their presence is known when they inhabit a home. The paranormal community has compiled very, some unsettling electronic voice phenomenon over the years. Multiple static cold spots have been found where unexplained noises, unexplained noises occur. EMF spikes have been noted in areas where the demon is thought to reside. Demons have been difficult to photograph in their natural form. Sinisterly, when manifesting, they often take the form of something innocent and less terrifying, like a child. Okay. Go ahead and close the book. It's back here. Turn the light on. You can close the door. Okay, so you just hit one button to close the door. That's the way it should be, I think, in a lot of these games. I open these. All right, let's take a look at this map. Okay, press interact to exit the map. Am I supposed to just click on this one? Seems like there's a number of different locations, which is pretty cool. I wonder if these are all in the game or if they're just something you walk later, but this seems to be the one that's lit up, so. Uh, ghost observed trophy level. Do you want to investigate this location? Sure. The homeowners reached out to me a few days ago, seeming to be rather desperate for help. This family is convinced their house is haunted. They moved into the house about a year ago, and within the first few months, the wife heard odd sounds like footsteps coming from the upstairs as she was on the main floor. Her husband told her she was hearing things until he heard them himself. 
They have three children, and the two youngest informed Mom earlier last week they have seen a young child playfully skipping through the upstairs hallway. Mom expressed her children feel they have a new playmate, but she does not share the same feeling. This is unsettling for the parents who want to get to the bottom of this. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Okay, looks like we have a little bit of background. Okay, we'll turn on. Oh, there's our, our sweet truck. The phone number to call, 555, as is tradition. Oh, can you sprint? No, there's no sprint. How far can I investigate out here? Is there... Looks like the tree line might be the... Barrier. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I mean, the lighting looks pretty good. You know, it's a little bit darker, but I guess that's probably for the best. It's like there's... Another tree line back here. Can I go up here? No. There's actually an invisible wall right here that I can't uh, proceed past. Okay. So there's that. Looks like they do have some kind of garage. Can I enter this? Oh, I can. Well, I don't want to jump ahead too far if there's a, more, a lot to investigate out here, so... there we got like a nice bench under this tree this is a cool little thing okay we're going to oh, the light really diminishes quickly over distance uh we're going to just uh head on in through the front yes we uh, should start off with close the door, right? I don't need their lights on. I have a flashlight. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to shut off the lights. Uh, I thought the activating the temp. Is it all just 20.4? Is it automatically changing? Investigating progress. Okay. So it looks like it's colder in here. Oh, going way back up. What is this progress? Oh, it's just for the temp gun. But it only happens when I'm pointing it at this thing. Uh, I'm not sure what this progress bar is supposed to do once it fills up, but we'll see. Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. Okay. I do like that it doesn't just give you like an ominous vibe when you walk in like a lot of the other games they have like a droning sound that goes on well, i guess well this makes sense because it is the ac unit there turn this on oh how did i turn that oh i guess there's supposed to be a chain here mirrors down here so they talked about the ghost being upstairs I'm guessing that's probably where it is it's locked this is open
yeah so as i was saying i do like that it just feels like a normal house that you're in is that me moving Let's take a look up stairs. Child's room. Oh, that's so bright. I haven't seen the temperature move all that much beyond, you know, the downstairs stuff. Oh, they have a kitchen upstairs too? Or is it just upstairs? I didn't. Oh. Oh. Dropping. Oh, God. Fuck. <laughs> uh, that definitely just gave me chills down my spine. Like, <laughs> scared me. Take a look at our notes. Most of the activity has been witnessed upstairs. Okay. Okay, so we are investigating in progress. It's not, it's going to say that there's nothing weird going on. It only works when I put it right in this spot. These temperature fluctuations appear to be normal. Wait, does it add that? No, it doesn't. So, so I think that I'm probably looking for actual weird temperature fluctuations so that I can Officially cat. Oh my god, what is wrong with your face? Why do you look like that? You definitely have a ghost. I mean I should probably be taking a photo of the ghost when it does that. Was V for night vision or was it X? X. Okay. There we are. As advertised, there is a skipping child ghost in this house. What is this room? Is this bathroom? How do I? Incredible, a photo of an entity. Uh, I didn't see the actual photo get taken of the entity. Is it whispering? All right. They're like normal temperature readings, though. Yeah, I mean, it definitely gets me every time it shows up. Wow. 
I hope the audio is picking that up. <laughs> that was creepy. Where did it go? Hmm, these temp readings are unusual. Okay, so we got the temp readings. I think it should show up under the notes now. Photographs taken. Yep. Regular cold spots. Okay. Let's do EMF now. I mean, uh, yeah. There we go. If I remember correctly, EMF actually does show up when you go to next to things like... Oh my god. Like when you go, you go to like next to fridges, which would make sense because they're they're giving off an electrical field. Oh, dude! I don't think that the ghosts can kill you in this game. Next to the lamp, okay. So we have to go to an area which wouldn't have natural EMF. Right here. And five. Is this the light switch? No. Where was that? Computers giving off stuff, TV. Say. So there's EMF here for no reason. The vent? Oh, you. Not investigating? Is that got EMF like right? There you go. It seems like it only works when you start getting EMF five. Oh my god. Are you giving off EMF? Yes. Should she go this way? Here? girl or thing posing as a little girl in this way yes you are okay love it if you just give me this acting funny I should continue investigating okay. now let's try to get EMF Do I use this again? Uh, audio recorder. S space to record E for EVP session. Assume if it records something, it uh, plays it back. I should do an EVP session. Let's see. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Okay. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? How many people are here other than me?
How many people are here other than me? Is this your home? Is this your home? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Why are you here? Why are you here? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Okay. Well, it looks like I'm not going to get EVP in that spot specifically. I hear, oh, I hear it. What? Why are you here? Why are you here? Is this your home? Is this your home? Okay. I do some recordings. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Are you going to play it? Confused. Maybe it's just when you actually hear sounds, it records it. That's extraordinary audio evidence. Where? Oh, there it is. Okay. But I, do I actually need to do like... I actually need to get an, an EVP though. Or is that even possible? Why are you here? Why are you here? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Okay, I'm not sure we're going to get EVP then. So how do we... How do we leave? Because we got, all, we got evidence, right?
Okay. Ghost book, how to play, quit to menu. How do you know when an investigation is done, though? I found all forms of evidence. Maybe I haven't found everything. Stop it. All right, I'm still going to use the controls here. Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? coming from. Why are you here? Why are you here? I mean, the ghost, is it just isolated to upstairs? Because that's what the reports were. How do you... I'll keep that as audio evidence. You're moving. Let me look at our notes. Repeat. I need to get photos of these things. I guess. Regular coal spots. Wow, I, I took a photo of a ghost. That's extraordinary audio evidence. Oh, well, I got both. But... Am I supposed to do... Maybe more... Ah, that. Maybe more EBP work? Wow, that's great audio evidence. You're moving over here, so. Going this way. This way? Still here.
literally be on the ghost to get EMF from it. Somewhere over here. God, I missed the audio. Who is that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Oh, I guess I got it somehow. Okay. I'll keep that as audio evidence. The EMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Yep, set it at a five here. Okay, so it's not giving me EMF progress anymore. Maybe I have to do... Which one was temp? Five. There you go. Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. Except when they are. One down. No, back up. Hear it walking. Ah, come on. Seems like I don't lose progress. Be next to the ghost enough. Hit it. Doesn't manifest. Doesn't have low temps until it manifests. Except right here. Seems like it only progresses when I'm not moving. And close enough. Please don't turn off. Why is it? Did it reset the bar? Is this just a new hot or checkpoint that I have to investigate? 
it's a very interesting system. I'm just trying to figure out how it works. I have to do each room. Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing paranormal. I mean, ghost that is very clearly around. Yeah, it's, I mean, it just seems to, like, randomly pick a room that is the focus point for, for spots. Does it make it, is it colder here? Yes, it does, next to the AC vent. Give me progress. Okay, you're in right through me. Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Okay. I have so much evidence. Okay. How do I how do I end an investigation? I would have assumed that it was like go back to your truck. And then you can leave. Maybe this side? Oh. Hmm. You know, instead of just doing this, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to look it up. How to actually successfully end a mission here, because someone else has had to run into this problem too. Give me one moment. All right, well, I'm not finding anything useful. All right, cool. Maybe I'm just dumb and haven't figured it out yet. Maybe I need to take more photos. I mean, I, the only other thing I can think of is an EVP, but I'm not seemingly getting those. Why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? I 
It seems like the hallway is a high traffic area, so I'm going to do the EVPs here. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? Is this your home? Is this your home? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? Why are you here? Why are you here? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Take a look at the ghost book. I think this is a residual haunting. If I had to guess. Not that it is asking me to select that, so. Okay. How to play. Okay. I mean, I'm mostly focusing on the upstairs because that's where they said the ghost was. But maybe I am supposed to go do stuff downstairs too. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Wow. I, I took a photo of a ghost. All right, let's, uh, Vent there. Okay.
Yeah, I mean, I'm not getting any kind of, like, prompt. They've done this area over here with temp. Okay. And the only thing I have left that I haven't gotten is EVP. I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to really do here. see the ghost in the light guess not hmm why are you here Why are you here? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? VPs. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than me? Is this your home? Is this your home? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? And the only other thing I could think of. Why are you here? Is to just exit. Why are you here? Hmm. Let's just try. We. Mm, I don't want to. I don't want to quit. But it doesn't tell you how to end an investigation. I, get, I would assume that it's whenever it's done. Right? I have a ton of everything. Is there like a telephone that I need to call someone? To be like, hey, you can come back to your house? Or... Because going out to the truck just does not work.
Maybe the back. Maybe I didn't try the back hard enough. Oh, are you kidding me? It's at the bottom, and you had to hold it? All right. Nice, we got a gold trophy. We got conclusive evidence. If there are further concerns, we'll return to the location for a follow-up investigation. Cool. Let's go check out the map and see uh, what changed. Okay, so we got the gold trophy. Select a ghost to replay, replay the investigation. So I'm assuming that when you select the ghost, it will let you replay it, but you can go and investigate again to see if there were more ghosts at each location. It's interesting. You have not been invited to investigate this location. Okay, so it seems like those will unlock as we go. Cool. Well... That was certainly uh, pretty creepy. Um, it'd be interesting to see how the investigations go moving forward, but I do hope that you guys enjoyed watching. It definitely scared the crap out of me when that ghost definitely uh, skipped past me the first time. Um, it got a little repetitive after a bit, so I got used to it, but it was still very cool. So, uh, you know, we'll keep playing this game. Stay tuned for further episodes of Thrill of the Haunts with Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. With that said, let's go ahead and uh, end this video. I hope, again, I hope you guys stay tuned, and I will catch you on the next one. See you later.